All right, let's do this thing. What the hell? What? What the? What the hell is this? Anyways, some wacky dojin game as usual. What else would it be besides some wacky dojin game that no one's ever heard of? The hell's that thing? Hmm. Oh, it's a Zelda game. That's what makes sense. So we have to find the assistants. No, you don't have to find the assistants. They're probably useless. Oh, we have to find this teeny little slab in the middle of a desert. Boo hoo! God, every NPC in every game ever is useless. Hey, right, look, there's one of them. We haven't yet. Obviously not, because we're not going there. Look at that thing, just smacking around. That means nothing. Throw something down. What the? Huh? That's interesting. Magic is interesting in this game, I don't know why. It really shouldn't be. It doesn't seem like it should be, but it is. Giant crab enemy, too easy of a joke. Not gonna make it. I guess I already did make it. Elemental change, that needs to seem to be quite the interesting tactic. Whack around, don't even need to, I'm just gonna whack it for no reason. Oh, there's a lab. Gotta collect all the pieces. Cause you know, back in the ancient days of Egypt, uh, other ancient civilizations, instead of having trading card games, they had big stone slabs. Didn't really catch on back then, because, you know, the slabs are fucking heavy. And, you know, if you want to go down to the cafeteria and trade slabs with your best friends, you better have a bad back. You have a bad back if you do that every day. So, you know, never really caught on back in the old days. Way to go. Oh, there's stuff down here. Hey, there's another one. I wonder how you get that. Probably hitting switches. Look at that. Oh, this seems like too easy a ball. You got all the way around. That's silly. There's artificial length, I think. I don't see the necessary, the necessity in whacking all of those things constantly. Like it means something. I mean, it doesn't even look like there's any experience points. What the hell's that? That's 30% HP. That's ridiculous. What that was about. I can see the point of whacking those guys are annoying. What's with the green tree in the middle of the that was cheese, that's what that was. Oh man. Wow, how useful. I suppose, you know. Oh, there it is. Heart piece. Max HP increased. I suppose if you just go check out every tree in the middle of every desert, you're bound to find something interesting. I don't know, video game logic just seems to apply there. Look at another one! Does he care? Does he do anything? No, he's just sitting on his ass and crying to himself. If you can't take the job, why do you get it in the middle of the desert? Pretty soon we'll have a complete set! Good old fashioned. You know how much those are worth? 100% completion of the ancient Egyptian collectible card game? Because there's only like four of them, because it takes a long ass time to carve those slabs. Very limited edition, very rare, very worth collecting. Wow. Of course we're gonna ignore them, get the cheese. No need to really no need to really uh bother with those guys. Or use magic or anything sensible. Oh, that was easy. Why didn't you get that one first? Made me think of like it's some sort of difficulty of getting that one? With your silly little scarfy cape thing? You just walk right in and get that. Uh, and then you throw them all down and you go into the dungeon. It's not a dungeon yet. There's the dungeon. Wait. Okay, yeah, tease me. Oh, we're gonna go to the dungeon. But no, we're not going to the dungeon. Going to the dungeon over here. That's where you're supposed to go. How are you supposed to know that? I don't know. I'm supposed to figure it out. Wax some enemies. That was really necessary. Freeze using the waste, waste of the MP. Cloud guys. I assume they don't do anything when you hit them. So you gotta freeze them. That's just me assuming things. So what are the points? Is not using magic earlier. Now for a desert! This place is pretty lush. Don't know why. Open a key! Use it to lock the door. Yeah, lock the door behind you after you use it. Don't want anyone following you. It'll just create odd, it'll be just awkward. What the hell's that thing? Oh, 
It's entirely ineffectual. Who would have thunk it? Look at that chest. That is a stupid looking chest. It's green, it's got like a tree in it. There's two of them. Huh, I wonder what he's supposed to do here. Wonder if you should freeze that guy when he stands on the switch. Maybe that's why we're piddling about like it means nothing. This is exactly why we're piddling about like it means nothing. Of course, we're not gonna. Oh, look, you can change elements and do that. That's pretty clever. I would have never thought of that. That chest must have just been there for the elements. Oh, eyeballs! Wow, that thing just does not dick around. Slab! Going back to collecting slabs. Because, you know. Remember, this is the second edition. And by second edition, I mean second series of the ancient Egyptian collectible card game. Why am I talking in that accent? I can't help it. Forgive me, internet! I like talking in that accent. Those things are so ineffectual. Why did it. No, oh, it's not even like a, really a trap if it doesn't do anything. Do traps that do nothing qualify as traps? That is an interesting philosophical debate for those of you interested in the philosophy of dungeon traps. For me, I really don't care. Okay, so are we going to go to the real dungeon now? So that wasn't even the real dungeon, that was just a fake dungeon. To collect more of those slab card game things. Nope, not real dungeon time yet. Just keep piddling on. Got these crazy looking scorpion things. Whack them around for no reason. Please, do nothing when you hit them. So you have to slap that big stupid plant thing. Oh, I wonder what we're gonna do here. Gonna ineffectually drop plant things on them. Break their armor. Their armor, oh, there are cute little slimes underneath. Huh. Interesting. Or MP, of course, you're gonna need it for some reason. That guy, I was about to make a comment about how ineffectual of a trap that guy is. Of course, you walk right into him. It tells you to. I don't even know what that guy said. Probably nothing useful. No. Those little tree guys are the one. Look at the tree! Look at the tree! There's something in there. I don't know. I wonder what's in the tree in the desert. The number four is apparently important. I wonder if you need more four slabs again. That just seems like a pointless gimmick. Oh! It's a combination! They're giving you a combination. We should put a three? There you go. There you go. Good work, little crazy buffler guy. Now that just seems ridiculous. The fact that you would put an artificial artificial uh barrier or something like that. Well, that didn't even really seem like a puzzle. I mean, yeah, I don't think you can figure that out your first time, but that's... I guess it's technically a puzzle. Philosophy of puzzles, everybody. That's an interesting thing you sign up when you get to play this crazy game where you cure space aids. Oh, part two of the series two. Finish series one. We're gonna rack in the money on these ancient Egyptian trading cards. I'm gonna come back. Now, that's just ridiculous. I guess that's why it wasn't using the magic. Okay, because it was pointless to go back again. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't pretend to understand. Oh, that's why. That's why, that makes sense. Don't walk off the stage. Good work. I applaud you for that. Again, this seems like a pretty silly puzzle. Figure it out. Nope. Don't need no magic where I come from. 
Gotta stop talking in that accent. There's magic down here. Lots of it. Everywhere. More than the eyes can handle worth of magic. <laughs>